You want me to say, spell my name, all that good yeah, stuff? Yeah, go ahead. Courtney Borello, K O R T N E Y B U R R E L L O, uh, Media Relations Officer with the Greenwood Police Department. Today we're here on a missing three year old little boy. He went missing at approximately 9 to 9.30 this morning. Uh, we received a call about 10.45 regarding um, him being missing. Um, his name is Michael Steppen, S T E P I E N. Um, he's the son of Brian and Jessica Steppen. Um, he's approximately three years old, three feet tall, 40 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes. Um, he left, was last seen wearing um, blue Paw Patrol pajamas and green Crocs. Um, we do not at this time know where he is at. Um, things that we've done includes um, neighborhood um, patrols. The fire department and police department have gone through the neighborhood a couple different times um, and looked in and around the sheds, in and around the houses, um, have not located anything at this time. What about the, the pond, the retention pond? The retention pond is uh, just standard procedure at this time. It's so close um, in proximity of the house, it's just procedure. So what have they been doing over there? How many divers, just whatever particulars you have? Uh, James Sipes, Greenwood Fire Chief. Uh, we've had multiple divers in the pond. I know we've had a, a, up to four divers in the pond. Um, they've been doing a perimeter search around the outside area of the pond and then also um, the closest proximity to where, if the boy were to potentially enter the pond, um, they've been doing pattern searches in that area with divers. How difficult, given the murkiness of these ponds, is that for these divers, Chief? It's pretty challenging. They can't really see. They have to feel their way through it. Uh, luckily, that area is fairly shallow, so they've been able to, to do it. The weather hasn't helped us. We've currently ceased operations because of the lightning. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get back in shortly and, uh, and continue the, the search. Can you tell us what the father told you as far as what he was doing and, and, and how the three year old got away? Um, I have not spoken to the father at this time, um, I'm, so I can't answer that question. So the plan is to... The plan. Widen out the search. How are you going to do this? Widen out the search. Um, continue after the storm um, ceases is um, to go back into the pond and do another search of that area um, at this, as soon as the lightning stops. Any, any word on who was home at the time? I believe the father was home at the time with the child. The, the residence is not in this immediate area. It's away, or is this going to be where the child lives? I'm sorry? The child from this neighborhood. He is from this neighborhood, yes. We've checked um, the field across the street, the railroad tracks. We've checked the vis um, general vicinity at this time. I heard sticks and span traffic driving past the force line. Can you confirm that? Are they going to assist leaving the uh, manpower? The, the search group has reached out to Task Force 1 for uh, some, some wide area search dogs, uh, and they're, uh, they're trying to coordinate that now. Uh, we continue to work this neighborhood and, as well as adjacent neighborhoods with police and fire agencies and uh, really just keeps keep spreading it out. Uh, I'll, I'll reiterate, anybody in the near neighborhood uh, around adjacent neighborhoods, if they could look around their, uh, around their house and their mini barn, uh, around their deck, any areas that might be someplace where a child would take refuge, and that would be great assistance to us, to us all. Any reason to believe or not believe abduction or is it, is it definitely a runaway or a... We don't believe abduction at this time. We have no indication of that at this time. Not at this time. Okay. Um, are there any civilian help in this at all? At um, we're just, right now, we're not, we haven't asked for civilian help except for just for civilians to continue to look around their homes, their neighbors' homes who are um, currently home. Um, but as far as um, a, a wide mass, no, not at this time, we haven't. Chief, can you say and spell your name for us? Uh, James Sipes, S-I-P-E-S. -E Greenwood, uh, Greenwood, Greenwood Fire, Fire Department. Chief. Yes, Greenwood Thank Fire Chief. And then uh, further updates, who will get that and how do we get a hold of you? Uh, further updates, we'll do Facebook, Greenwood Facebook page, Greenwood Police Department's Facebook page um, for further updates. And if we do any more news conferences, we'll um, contact you guys that way. Follow us there. And on your web page is a picture of the... Of the little, little boy room. and any, um, the information I gave you, re uh, references, height, weight, color, all that general information is all on there. And Courtney Cruz got here around noon, right? Around noon? Uh, 1045. Okay. Um, is when, um, we were called out here to the scene. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Thank guys. You. Thank you. Yeah.